Oh shit! Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I am an old guy gaming, and this is the insane series where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. So, if you guys find yourself enjoying this episode, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. I would appreciate it. It'll help the channel. And uh, let's go. All right, so <laughs> in this episode, we are going to uh, we're going to do some random looting, and you'll notice that uh, I made the SMG, and I want to just try this out. Um, and see if I like it better than the Desert Vulture, at least until we find a better Desert Vulture. If you compare the two, uh, the Desert Vulture does twice the damage. It's about 99, whereas this one is 50. But if you but if you compare the rate of fire between the two, under the rounds per minute, um, the SMG has roughly four times the speed um, as the uh, as the as the Desert Vulture. So, you know, half the damage, but four times the speed, when it all comes out in the wash, it's basically, you can do twice as much damage with the SMG. Plus, it uses the much cheaper 9mm ammo. Um, so, I, I have a drum magazine on here, a reflex sight, and a silencer. Excuse me, remember, we have the perk that removes all um, damage reduction when using the silencer, so we still get the full damage using that. Uh, and we're also only one magazine away from maxing up pistol peat which means that up close i'm not sure um how far point blank actually is but you know close in of course it'll ignore armor which is really going to make this uh even that much more deadly against those higher level opponents so we're going to try the smg out in this episode and see you know how we like it uh but i would like to at some point get back to uh, the desert vulture but i want to find you know a little bit nicer one first probably before we do that i even considered replacing this uh, or making this our oh shit weapon but you just can't you know you just can't really compare the damage between these two the rate of fire is very similar and this thing just packs so much more punch and you know it's got 121 rounds in the magazine versus 58 so we're going to continue to keep the m64 our oh shit weapon anyway uh, i think that's about it there's not really much more to show you at the house right now um so uh, what we're going to do is over here uh, where i've got this marked uh, that is a, a bookstore, uh, and I have not been in there. So we're going to really just go over to this town, and we're going to randomly loot pretty much um, any POI, any and every POI. Well, I don't know if we'll get to all of them, but, uh, you know, that I haven't haven't been in yet. Okay? So I will meet you guys over there, and we'll have some fun. See you in a bit. All right, guys. We are at the bookstore. Um, this is probably going to be most of the looting in here is probably going to be just paper. So I'll probably just do cuts, <clears throat> excuse me, in this next part and just show you the actual books that we find um, and, uh, you know, the combat. So let's do this. Alright guys, we have made it to the top of the library here. Man, I was really lucky that uh, the buzzer over that corner didn't uh, aggro on us, but I guess that uh, definitely shows that our stealth is working. Um, so, yeah, not sure about that. Okay, we're probably going to have a dog right when we open the door here. 
Uh, there's usually a dog in here somewhere. There he is. I think that's it for enemies. Yeah, actually, I've uh, so far I'm actually liking the SMG. It seems to be packing a punch for sure. Um, so we're gonna continue using it for for now, anyway, until we, like I said, until we find a um, what's this do? Take five percent less damage when wearing them. Baseball hats and letter jackets. Okay. Um, until we come across to, you know, a better desert vulture anyway. Nah, that's not really worth much. I think we're just gonna leave it be. So let's check the rest of these books. Overall, we've, we found a, per, a pretty decent number of, you know, of magazines and schematics in the library. Most of them, of course... Ooh, look at that, too. Um, I already know, which is to be expected in the end of the game here. Yeah, we know both of those, but um, it hasn't been bad. You know, can't really complain about the quantity that we've received. So, okay, let's um, put our luckies on. And, of course, we're out of space here. Uh, we don't need the nitrate. We don't need the iron. I mean, really, we don't need any of the beverage stuff either, but let's just see what, what we got. You know what I could do is I think I have eye candy down in the 4x. Maybe we ought to go down. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, sometimes in close quarters, you just got to spray and pray. Fully automatic mode does one. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, 1% more damage per hit. Uh, nice. I wonder if that applies to the SMG, too, even though it's a different class. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back downstairs really quick and um, drop some stuff off, take an eye candy, and then come back up here and we'll open these three boxes. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's pop this eye candy. We also have our lucky looters on. And see what we have. Okay, armor schematic. A little more ammo and a uh, club schematic. And then the fat loots. Oh, there we go. Look at that. A blue desert vulture. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> we might have to reconsider uh, things. I am loving the SFG, though, actually, quite a bit. I, I just love the sound of it, you know, with the with the silencer. It just sounds bitching, man. Okay, well, that was a, that was a nice find, a blue desert vulture. We'll have to, you know, uh, get that back home and then see... Um, how it compares, you know, to our yellow one and so forth. It gives us one more mod slot. So something to consider. Man, I put this here a long time ago. What do we have in here? Um, all of that stuff, except for, well, even that we could sell. All that stuff's somewhat useful. I guess we'll grab it. Okay. So we've got four minutes left on eye candy. What we could do quickly is ninja... Uh, another fat loot, if I can f remember where... Yeah, we could go... We could go up into here. I think the fat loots are all the way at the top. If we're going to do that, we got to hurry, though. move <laughs> hurry loot 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 there we go oh look at that uh nice that's good stuff okay let's check the weapons bag really quick get rid of that them thing it's in the way okay ammo and the boxes little purple wrench action there Okay, good. So we got two loots out of the uh, uh, eye candy. Always a good thing. All right, guys. Um, let's do this POI next. Like trying to remember where the fat loots are in this place. I think they might be up on this side, but I couldn't say for sure. So I'll tell you what. Let's just nerd pull up here and see uh, what we can see. 
Okay, so we got a couple of uh, dudes here. Let's light these guys up here. Yeah, see, it's getting a little far away. I don't want it to fall down in the hole. Maybe we just kind of... <laughs> That's not working too well either. Can we get at least one down by his feet? There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. Is he dead? Is he dead? Yeah, now he's dead. Now we got Ronnie McDonnie there. Okay. Oh no, there's the loot. Okay, good. Good, good. All right, let's snipe this guy. Let's snipe him. I can't shoot him because the guy's foot's in the way. So let's wait for that foot to move. Yeah, this has that chute that you can go down that every time I try and do it, I fall and break my leg. I remember that place now. There we go. I guess we'll just have to do this without eye candy. Let's harvest these guys. All right, what do we have for fat loots? Yeah, okay. Check in here. More ammunition. And then we'll hit these guys. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, better than what we have now. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. It's a nice upgrade. Got another steel shovel. Okay, we'll take those two things. I don't care about the paintbrush. Okay, let's go right on over to Doggo's here and just continue on. I think the fat loots are going to be up there, maybe? Uh, let's nerd pull up here and find out. Isn't there supposed to be like a wolf up here or something? Or is that on the other side? I'm not seeing one. Maybe it's just a random thing. Yeah, I don't see any wolves. Okay. That's fine. All right, let's see what we got. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, and a blue pump shotgun. We already have a blue one back at home, but we can compare the two. Yeah, that's pretty decent loot there. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at the weapons bag. All right, that's where we're just going to scrap a doodle. No room for that stuff. Okay, let's, uh, we might as well drink this. And I want to take the meat. I don't really care about the plastic so much, so what are we going to give up? We are going to eat this. And then take the meat. And we won't worry about the plastic. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the next place. Let's hit Aldo's next because I know exactly where the loot is on that. And then we'll kind of see where we're at from there. I haven't been in the adult movie uh, POI in a very long time. I don't know if that's changed. Uh, so we could check that out. And then home cooking. Pretty sure the loot's on the roof in that place too.
Um, okay, can we blow these guys up? Where are my pipe pumps? Here we go. That works. We gotta kill buzzards on principle. There's just no two ways about it. More purple steel gloves, very nice. Uh, military leg armor, that's not quite as good as what we have. So let's take all of that. Check the gun store box. Nope, don't care about those. Um, don't really care about those. I guess we could drink those even though we just had a mineral water. What do we got in here? Beef cuts, uh, we want to keep those two things. And ammo pile. Oh, nice. We got a fortifying grip on. Okay, let's get rid of those. And we want to take uh, the nine mils. So what are we going to give up for that? We are going to give up this. No, let's just eat this book. There we go. So, okay. Uh, that's definitely worth fixing up and selling. And we can take those and then let's see what we got in here. Oh, nice. Another rad remover mod. Very nice, actually. I could use more of those. Okay, so we need to make room for um, four things. All right, so let's see. Let's put that... We put the first rad remover we found on a compound cross, but I think it would probably make sense to put the next one on the SMG. Um, or we could put it on the oh shit weapon. Um, we'd have to give up our reflex sight because I don't want to give up the other two. Not that that's a big deal. So, well, we don't have space to do that right at the moment anyway, so we'll do that later. All right, guys. Um... Why don't we go, let's go ahead and check out the adult movie place. I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't been in that POI for a very long time, so I don't know if it's changed uh, since the last time I was in there. Uh, so let's check that out. The problem we have now, of course, is we're really running out of space. So, you know, I, kn I know I could make a thousand-ish coin off of these things, maybe a little more, but, I mean, we don't need any money. I, I mean, we just don't. <laughs> we got tons of money, and we're going to have tons more when we sell all the stuff that I'm currently have at the base ready to sell. So let's just eat all of that stuff to free up some more space. We'll eat this too. Uh, that that was a nice collection of schematics from the bookstore, though. Um, you know, I mean, we knew most of it, but I'm, I'm pleased to see that it was giving us that much stuff because it, you know, seems like it's been really stingy before. Okay, we're going to put things in here. Let's hang on to that because if we find more dye, we can make paint out of it. I don't know if we'll run into buzzards up there, but we'll put stuff in here that we're not likely to get more of. Um, beer, coffee, the Mega Crush is pretty rare. I guess we could put the gold coins in there. We could put that in there. Two more things. What else? What else? What else? How about the rifle parts? And we can put the uh, tuna fish. Okay. So we got a full uh, Jeep, but we still have a little bit of room to do this. So for this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to do the whole thing, actually. We're not going to just go to the fat loose, just because, again, I want to see if it's the same as it was before or if it has changed. Um, I believe you're supposed to enter back here, too, if I remember right. It looks the same on the outside, so I don't know if it's going to be any different or not. So let's give it a give it a try and see what happens.
All right, guys. Well, that does it for the uh, the theater, and it has not changed at all from uh, the last time I did it. So it's the same exact POI uh, from what I could tell. All right, let's see. Should we uh, see if we can cheese the loot off the top of the Shotgun Messiah factory? Uh, if we do that, I think the loot's on those two towers up there. So, yeah. Well, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's do it. Just got to figure out the best way to get up there with minimal resistance. Maybe up this side, I'm thinking. That's where we got to get to up there. Yeah, I think we could probably do that. Um, the, the thing is, is if we're going to go up there, though, um, we're going to have to probably just put a drop chest down because I'm not going to be able to get everything that's up there and bring it back. Um, so let's do that. So we're just going to nerd pull all the way up to the top. Okay, so we got to get up there. We've got to get up there without, hopefully, without attracting a lot of attention. I'm probably going to need some more wood frames, too. We're, we're going to actually legit do the Shaka Messiah factory um, at some point. That's my plan, anyway. But it probably won't be this one unless we actually get a quest for it. I don't know, do we even get quests for Shaka Messiah factories? I've never had a quest for them. I've always just done them randomly. Uh, let's see if we go through here. There's a guy right there. There's a guy right there. Too. Ooh, there's a bunch of guys right there. Can we close that door? Can't reach it from here. Holy crap. That is a lot of dudes. What? Oh. He hit the edge of the door. Oh shit! That's why we call it the oh shit weapon. I'll put this here. Wow, we got banged up on that one. <laughs> Son of a... Alright, let's take one of these. And let's take uh, this. And we also have a, a sprained wrist. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. That's going to probably affect our shooting, but maybe we'll luck out and that's the only enemies we'll have to kill, you know, before we get up there. Wishful thinking, right? So those guys were all standing out here. All right, I wonder if going up here is going to hurt my wrist. Fortunately, it wasn't our leg that's got banged up. No, it doesn't seem to hurt the wrist. Okay. Okay. All right, let's bust these open.
Okay, let's pop this and put these on. Let's see what we got. We'll check the good stuff first. Uh, all right, decent loot for the most part. None of it's better than what we currently have, but not too bad. That's a nice find. We already have a purple magnum, so we'll compare that when we get back to the base. See which one's better. Okay, let's check the boxes. Another green machete. All right. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Something a little bit different than what I normally would do. Uh, lots of looting. We've got lots of looting in. And, um, you know, checked out some random POIs. We'll probably do this again, too. Um, it's just kind of fun to, you know, get away from the questing and, you know, the the... All the worry and concern and work around Horde Night and just go out and have some fun. And um, so, yeah, we will m definitely plan on doing another one of these random looting episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.